This is what I recently posted on Instagram. And in this After Effects tutorial, I thought I'm gonna show you how I animated this character. Hi guys, my name is Manuel. Get the files first, they're for free, link is in the description, you might need them to follow along. We won't use any plugins in this tutorial, just standard stuff After Effects comes with. So, let's jump in, shall we? All right, here's the comp we use. It's labeled Tutorial. Let's go through and link all the layers and properties we need to be able to animate this character. The left arm. And one thing that is really important is to place the anchor points right. For example, here where the shoulder is. We need to link the arm to the hoodie, which is like the upper body. Then there's a hoodie layer and a hoodie shade layer. We link the hoodie shade layer to the hoodie layer. Then we open both path properties and link the hoodie shade path to the hoodie path. Whenever we change the hoodie path, the shade path will change as well. Awesome! The trousers. We need to link the upper body to the legs. So when the character walks, the body moves along. The head. We need to link the head to the upper body, of course. Then there's the glass. Two liquid layers and a handle. Let's link all that to the glass. So whenever we move the glass, everything moves along. Then there's the right arm which we link to the hoodie as well. We open the contents and there are three elements. The sleeve, the hand and the arm. To make sure everything moves along, we link the hand path and the arm path to the sleeve path. The arm and the hand. Let's quickly check it. Looks good. Awesome. So if we move the trousers, everything moves along. Except the glass. How do we achieve that? We select the sleeve path, go to window, all the way down and click on create nulls from paths. And choose points follow nulls. Which creates three nulls, one for each point. So when I move a null, the arm follows. Well, except the hand. First of all, we link the glass to this right null. Then we need to link the nulls to the hoodie. Otherwise, the arm doesn't move along. So let's select all three and link them. Awesome, that should be it. Let's animate the character. First, let's bend the body slightly back. We set a rotation keyframe at the beginning, set it to minus seven at 25 frames, then to minus eight at 55 frames. Next, the head. Rotation zero at the beginning, at 25 frames, it's minus 18 degrees. At 55 frames, minus 21. This doesn't look great. So let's make this animation organic. We select the rotation keyframes, open the graph editor, make sure snap is activated and edit speed graph is selected. Let's start with the hoodie rotation. We slow down the beginning and the end of the first part. Then the head animation. We want the head to go back even slower. Then be quite fast before slowing down again. In comparison. Awesome, much better already. Let's get to the right arm. We set position keyframes for the elbow and the hand now. And a rotation keyframe for the hand. Then we go to 25 frames and rotate the glass and move it up to the mouth. Ah, I remember there was a problem. I'm gonna quickly check that. It's probably the hand not being linked. Weird, I thought I did that. Whatever. Let's move that glass to the mouth now. And adjust the elbow position. Up and right. You should check with your own arm how it moves when you drink. And we need to adjust the motion path of the position. An arm usually doesn't shrink and grow again. It needs to be like an arc. The imaginary center point is the elbow. Okay. Then at 55 frames, we move the glass higher. Adjust the rotation and the elbow position. There's weird stuff happening. It's this busy motion path here. We select the convert vertex tool and click on it to get rid of it. 
Awesome. I think that's great. Almost. We select all keyframes and open the graph editor again to adjust the timing. Let's start with the rotation. We want the main rotation to happen quite late. We don't want to spill everything. So very slow at the beginning. And then the position. Slow beginning and slow end. A rather symmetrical curve. Okay, maybe that's a bit too much rotation there. Let's adjust it. That's better. Finally, the liquid. I've placed the anchor points in the top center, so we only need to rotate the layers. We set rotation keyframes at the beginning. At 25 frames, we rotate them, so it looks like the guy is drinking. Then we add two position keyframes, because at 55 frames, the glass is almost empty. We simply move the two layers along the y-axis and adjust the rotation. All right. Remember, the rotation of the glass happens quite late. So we kind of repeat that for the liquid. The first layer and the second one. Mm. Too fast at the end. Let's add the rotation curve of the arm. Quite similar in comparison. Let's slow the animations down though. Awesome! That's the first half. How about you do the second half and put the glass back on the counter? I mean, it's basically a reversed animation of what we've just done. And make sure to check out the character animation comp, there's a lot of stuff going on. Any questions you have, ask them in the comments, I'll make sure to answer all of them. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell, because you don't want to miss my next video, right? Thanks for watching this one, see you in the next one, bye guys!